Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christine. So today I'm so excited for this video. I was inspired by my sister's video who is now on YouTube and posting again. And in her video, she's talking about how she didn't know what to wear. And whenever she doesn't know what to wear, she always goes for a hoodie and jeans. So I thought I'd put together a video of outfits to wear when you don't know what to wear. I came up with different occasions and scenarios that I would wear certain types of outfits outfits too so I have a girls night out, I have brunch outfit, a date night outfit, a first day outfit. Go ahead and link all of the pieces, all the outfits down below like I usually do so be sure to check down below in the description box. So without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the outfits. First scenario that I have is a girls night dinner. I actually went out with some girlfriends the other night and it's just more of a chill dinner outfit. I really want to look cool, put together but not dressed up, be comfortable, hang out with my girlfriends but still feel a little bit stylish and edgy so I have a black bodysuit here that I picked up from All Saints I love this bodysuit I feel like it's such a good basic that goes with everything I have these aloe yoga cargo pants that I picked up a couple weeks ago in New York and I've been wearing them so much ever since and I believe they are still fully in stock so I'll link them down below but I've been obsessed with these I threw on an athletic jacket actually I love this jacket because it kind of has a crop fit so it makes the outfit look kind of sassy and it is kind Kind of like a bomber jacket situation and I've recently fallen in love with wearing like crop jackets just because I feel like it makes outfits look so sophisticated and edgy and then I threw on my checkered bands these are such a good classic shoe ties in the colors really really nicely and I feel like overall it's very cool and effortless and I love that for a girl's night out I want something a little bit dressier a little bit more fun so I have these ripped jeans from Abercrombie Abercrombie denim hits okay their denim is amazing. I'll go ahead and leave my sizing down below, but I love these jeans. I love that they're kind of a tighter waist, but down the leg, it's a little bit more of a straight, longer fit. So you could actually wear these with sneakers, but I have them here a pair of heels because it is more of a girl's night out outfit. I want to be a little bit more dressier, cute, something that'll photograph really, really well. And then I have a bodysuit on underneath. This bodysuit's from Maritzia. I love it. I love that it's a low V. The back also has a low V, so it's very sexy, cute. And then I tied with it some heels and this is just comfortable heels they're from Shuts. love them and overall this outfit I wouldn't do a jacket or anything because you're going out you're gonna be dancing maybe having drinks spilled on you so you don't want anything that you care about too much but you still look really really cute in the pictures it's gonna be bomb so love this outfit I have another option for you if you want to do a girls night out and you wanted to wear booties so often I don't feel like wearing open-toed shoes when I'm going out with girls because you're getting stepped on there's lots of drinks the ground is generally really dirty so oftentimes i opt for booties and these booties are from steve madden and i love them they're so comfortable so chunky and i love that the shaft is a little bit higher because i just feel like it makes them even more comfortable and it really helps to elongate the leg and paired with the mini skirt it just makes my leg look so good i feel good in this outfit and then i have the same black all saints bodysuit you can never go wrong with all black whenever you don't know what to wear you you can stick to a monochrome color palette or just an all black you can never go wrong with that next outfit situation that we have is a date night so brand and i have been together now for almost eight years we're engaged and so this is something that i've feel super comfortable and confident in. This is something that I know Brandon would love on me. We have a fun top from Evolve and I love the neckline of this top. I love that it's a crop top. So I paired with it the same black Abercrombie jeans with rips in it and the same Shuts heels. This is just a great date night outfit. I feel really good in it. I look really good in it. And I just, again, can't go wrong with the all black vibe. If you wanted to opt for something a little bit safer, say it's a first date, I would actually wear something like this. This is another way to wear all black I would actually probably opt for sneakers I feel like sneakers kind of gives an unexpected vibe you're cool you're stylish I just love that the vibe that this outfit gives me so I actually have a lacy bralette underneath and I have the shirt button kind of low so you can see a little peak of the bralette so you're still really really sexy and it looks like you're not trying too hard or trying to do too much which I love and these are Nike dunks I've been wearing a lot lately it's kind of like a navy blue color so it's kind of a fun 
fine twist to an all black outfit and this button up top is a silk top from Everlane. I love it. I've been loving my button up tops lately and I feel like they're such a good closet staple. You can wear them buttoned up a little bit higher if you want to wear them to the office for a more like sophisticated chic look. Or what I've been doing lately is just having one button and kind of having it open as a top and it just is really effortless and fun. It's also, I'm just obsessed with these jeans. I love the slash in the leg. I feel like they're just so flattering on. Next outfit that I have is something that I'd wear to brunch with the girls for, for a brunch date double date, what have you. These are also another pair of Abercrombie jeans that I love and I love the wash of these. I love the rips on these. So this outfit is obviously a little bit more casual. I'll show you guys next kind of dress your brunch outfit if that's more your speed. But for me, I love a good sneaker and jean moment and I have a little crop top from Aritzia that I've had for years and years. I don't even think they have this same top anymore but I'll link something similar down below. I love the look of high neck tops paired with cardigans or sweaters and I feel like it just looks very stylish and it's kind of a high-end way to wear a cardigan sweater situation so I love this pairing the sweater is also from Maritzia I love it and then I paired with it my checkered band just to kind of make the outfit look a little bit more like street style low-key very low effort which we love that Home vibe. For a more dressier look, you can see we pulled a lot of the whites, brown tones, giving like summer vibes. And this bag is actually from Koyana. I love it. It's actually one of their newer bags and it's like a mini tote bag, which I love. Their bestseller is like a bigger version of this. So this is just like a really cute summer bag because you can fit a lot, but it's still small petite and I love the color and I feel like it just ties together the outfit really really nicely. These white pants are from Guess. They're a little bit long on me so I actually pull them aside to get them tailored but I love the look of clean white crisp pants especially with like brown tones. It's just such a beautiful mix and I wore with it the same high neck top and then this button up that I've been obsessed with. It's from Storettes and I love it. It looks very high end and expensive and Every single time I've worn it, I've gotten compliments on it. So it's just such a beautiful top. I love the color, especially for me. I don't wear color a whole lot. So I think brunch is a great occasion to kind of pull together some fresh spring, summer colors. And I think the colors all tie together really nicely. The sandals are from Dolce Vita. They are, I think like a year too old, but I love them. They're very comfortable. And I think a good sandal is such a good spring, summer staple, especially because I often wear sneakers and and sometimes I want to look a little bit dressier, but I don't want to commit to wearing like a heel. Sometimes that can be too much. So a good sandal is always a good option. So love this outfit. Next scenario that we have is to go to school or run errands. I wanted to pull something a little bit more casual. I'm styling the Storette's top again here. And I actually wore it open with a t-shirt and some cutoff shorts and these high socks I've been loving. My favorite socks are from Everlane and I feel like these are just the best socks ever. I've put so many of my friends on the Everlane socks and they're just my favorite and so I think this outfit is the perfect mix of like effortless and low-key but you're still very comfortable you can also button up the top partially if you want it kind of gives off a different vibe which I actually really like and that's the magic of button up tops like you can wear them open as a jacket or as its own top so the shorts that I'm actually wearing are from Everlane and I love these shorts they're a little bit more of a longer length which I feel like I've been reaching for that a lot more just because booty shorts can sometimes feel so uncomfortable and I just I love the look of a longer short. And Next outfit that we have is for an interview. This is something that if you're applying for a job for the first time you want to look like you are dressed for the job no matter what position you're applying for you're ready you want to look sharp and my go-to is always a blazer a good clean blazer just when in doubt go for a blazer so I opted for the one that I'm actually wearing right now it's actually from Aritzia this is an agency blazer it's one of my favorite blazers of all time I wear it so much and I actually need it in more colors because this, this is the only one I have and I wear it so much so if you have like a good brown gray blazer definitely wear that because I feel like that is a little bit more unexpected and a little bit more memorable if you only have a black blazer wear that but I think this is just a very clean 
chic outfit. I have pointy toe heels that are very, very comfortable, which is key. You don't want to wear shoes that are uncomfortable and you're kind of like stumbling around and like making a lot of noise coming in. So I love these heels. They're from Madewell. They're so old, so I'll go ahead and link similar ones. Pants are from Express and I love these pants. They are a very similar cut to the Aritzia Effortless pants, but they're a little bit more slim throughout the leg, which makes them look more like professional and sophisticated. So I really like that. And then I paired with it this kind of like crop blouse and I tucked it in a little bit for more of a like clean cut look but I just think that can't go wrong with an outfit like this especially for an interview it's better to be overdressed than it is to be underdressed so last outfit that we're gonna do is a workday outfit so this is you already got the job maybe you work an office job I used to have a job as a real estate agent so this is something that I would wear into the office and it just makes me feel very fashion forward and chic but still work appropriate so we have the same white pants from guests from earlier, the same high neck top and the same blazer. And I wanted to restyle the blazer again because say you had an interview and you didn't like that previous outfit and you want something a little bit more fashion forward. This is also another outfit that you can wear to an interview. It's obviously a little bit more risky. So I personally would wear this for a job that I already have for a business job or something like that on like a Tuesday afternoon. And it just looks very fashionable. You guys know I love my closed toed pointy toe shoes the office i just feel like can never go wrong with that and these flats are i don't even remember where they're from but i love them they're comfortable i especially throughout the work week i opt for more flats because those are something that i can wear for eight hours nine hours and i still feel really really good in so i love this outfit and those are the outfits that i put together i actually put a lot of time into putting those together and afterwards i was like good job you did good i love those outfits so i feel like it's been a while since i've sat down and done a video i've since then gotten lasik and i feel like brandon and i have been traveling a lot so it's been non-stop vlogs but we're gonna get back into the styling videos and today when you guys see this video i do have new presets that just came out they are the film volume 2 presets and this is my first like volume 2 preset pack every single pack i've come out with has been like its own new thing and i I've just been obsessed with the look of film style photos and I'm really excited for this preset pack. This is probably like my favorite one that I've come out with since the basics pack. So I hope you guys enjoy them. It's five presets for $15. That will always be the case. I wanted to make it really accessible for everyone and presets that you can use on iPhone photos, camera photos. So I go ahead and link the presets down below and I also have a tutorial on how to download and use them if you guys are interested in that. I also want to say a big thank you for 200,000 subscribers. I started this YouTube channel over four years ago and I never would have thought that we would be here. Such a crazy moment for me and I'm really grateful and thankful for those of you that have been watching my videos since day one or if you're newer to my page. Thank you so much for all the love and support and I am planning on doing a giveaway soon so maybe I'll talk about that in the next video so stay tuned for that because I wanted to say thank you to you guys and it means a lot to me and I'm really grateful for how far we've come and yeah so anyways that was a long spiel I hope you guys enjoyed this outfit video thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one bye